Yeah. And she calls me on the phone. We get song ideas out of our ass, so, you know. <laughs> they, they come from everywhere. And uh, she called me up and she said, uh, I got a song we need to write. And uh, this is a song about somebody who's broken up so many times that they've really mastered the art of escape without making a sound. <laughs> Slipping out under the radar, um, figured out just you know, how to go through every step, and uh, and this is coming from the uh, woman scorned point of view. The, I was the narrator. <laughs> However, uh, there are probably at least one person in the world that would say I wrote this song about myself. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs>
seriously. Uh, I, I was absolutely fascinated with country music, and I spent all my teenage years not chasing boys, not going to parties, not getting drunk. Well, getting drunk I did later, but anyway. <laughs> I, uh, I spent all my teenage years doing very abnormal things like joining fan clubs and putting pictures of country artists on my wall and reading uh, history books about country music and learning a lot of songs. So I sat on the edge of my bed with my guitar and, and uh, I learned every song over the land ever wrote, every song Kathy Kahn ever sang, all of them. I got my uh, job plan at Tootsie's Organized for Tips and Drunks, I knew a lot of songs already. So I had my whole set list all planned out, and I was very excited about that. I, mean, I used to do obscure Patsy Klein songs that you guys wouldn't even know. She was on this record label called the Four Star Record Label. And um, before her Owen Bradley days and the songs that you all heard, I used to do all those old songs. And, uh, Loretta Lynn was somebody that I, I watched Coal Miner's Daughter at least like 28,000 times before I moved to Nashville. Could recite every line from the movie. And I went to a party for Loretta Lynn about six months ago in Nashville, celebrating 50 years in country music. I was invited, by the way. <laughs> I was invited. Please. 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 <laughs> and it was at Hurricane Mills. Where, where she lived and where the, a lot of the movie was shot there. So I'm walking in the driveway freaking out because I'm seeing all these scenes from the movie and I'm like, you know, it's playing through my mind, the dialogue and everything. I'm like, oh my God. And then I went on the bus, the bus that was in the movie, the bus, her actual bus, and back where she's spilling pillows everywhere. It was a 70s story. Anyway, and then the little woman comes in the building and I get in line in the meet and greet line and I'm waiting for Loretta. I had met Loretta one time before and uh, I was standing beside Billy Dean in the hallway of the Grand Ole Opry house, and I was invisible. You guys know who Billy Dean is? Yeah. Yes. Hot with two T's. She didn't notice the news. So it was kind of like, oh. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to spell this time. And then I walked up to Loretta, and uh, she's very tiny, by the way, so I looked way, way down. And I said, hi, Loretta. I didn't have to tell her my name. She said, Terry Clark, we have been friends for so long. Darling, I have missed you. <laughs> Is there somebody standing behind me? <laughs> I'm like, is everyone hearing this right now? Me and Loretta? We're like this. <laughs> so, uh, I was quite thrilled with that. And, uh, and then she leans in real close and she goes, darling, we never will forget Daddy's hands. <laughs> For those of you sitting there with this blank look on your face, that was a Holly Dunn song. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do that one. <laughs> so she knew me and she was all excited to see me but didn't know the song. Never was one Darling, we never will forget, stand by your man. She wants to get her ass kicked by the little man. <laughs> but I did hear there was a rivalry between the two of them in the 70s, and then Loretta at one time said, I don't know why they called her the first lady of country music. There is no president of it. <laughs> <laughs> so back at Tootsie's, I did a lot of Loretta songs, even though she may not know my repertoire, which I don't expect her to. I know all of her. So I'm gonna take you up. Uh, I'm gonna walk you down the tizzy. Just pretend you're smelling stale beer in the air right now. Somebody's falling off a stool. One time, me and the bartender, like a sack of potatoes, she took one end and I took the other. Had to drag this guy right out on the sidewalk. I'm 18 from Alberta. Green, green, green. I'm like, what in the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Yeah. 
Why not? I continue to be one of the greatest singers on the planet. 